I can't believe it. It's already been a year since I become guardian. In memory of Master Fu. <laughs> Master Fu isn't dead, Chatnor. Oh, he's not? No! Oh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. What I meant was... In memory of Master Fu's memory. We will never forget you. Oh, I don't think it's possible to forget someone else's memory. Shh! This is a moment of silence. Show some respect, my lady. Where? Where are we? Oh, yes. Master Fu's memory. You will always be in our hearts. Rest in peace. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I'm Leary. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my god, a talking pigeon! Sorry, but I'm not a pigeon. Tell me your secret talking pigeon. How did you learn to speak the human language? Didn't you hear what I just said? I am not a... This is incredible! Andrew has to see you! Then she has no other choice but to admit that pigeons are amazing. But... Come on, let's go! Oh. Andrew, look! A talking pigeon! Don't be ridiculous, pigeon guy! Pigeons can talk, only parrots can! But this is a pigeon! If it talks, then it is parrot! Pigeon! Parrot! Pigeon! Actually, I am a... Huh? Nobody, Nobody asked ask you! you. Oh. And here, we have a scout of Kestrel's brain. Oh, where's her brain exactly? I gotta admit, it's hard to see at first glance. So here, take this. See? There it is. Are you kidding? Her brain is tiny! It literally looks like a peanut. So, got a problem with peanut brains? No, I mean, it does how can Chloe exist like that? Shouldn't she be dead? I don't know. Do I look like a doctor to use the 101? Oh, you're right. I should probably ask Chloe directly. Hey, sis, I have a question. What is your brain condition called? Oh, Chloe? Oh, sorry, help! I'm being chased by a crazy girl! I never want to see a peanut brain! Uh. I'm sorry, Mornette, but my time has come. No, you can't leave Thomas Astor. The writing team needs you. Yeah, tennis! I'm still waiting for my wedding with Gabricans! Tennis? When is it going to happen? Oh, never? At least not under my watch. The Zack team and I have plans for a wedding special, actually. Jeremy Zack? Wait, for real? Does it mean my dream is really happening? Will I become Gabricans' queen? Well, there's going to be queen, but... But what? It is not you, since Marinette and Adrian are the ones who are going to get married. I thought it would be fitting to introduce Lila as the Evil Queen. Okay, I don't want to give too much away, but trust me, this special is going to be miraculous. So this isn't about me at all? This is ridiculous! Eternally ridiculous! I want this to be my wedding! Oh, Marinette, are you okay? Adrian and I are... Going to marry?! Calm down, Marinette. I'm sure Jeremy knows what he's doing. Right side. The match will sell like crazy. So, this is your older sister? Yeah, her name is Dora. She is staying for the rest of the summer. She doesn't live here. No, she lives in Italia with our father. Hola, soy Dora. Hold on, was it Spanish? No, it was Italian, because Dora is Italian, like me, obviously. <laughs> Italian and English are the only two languages she knows. Habla Espanol! But uh, this is Spanish. Dora, what are you doing? You ruined the airplane! But I can't lie to Adrian Senorita Lila. I'm not Italian, I'm Mexican. So, isn't Italian was speaking Mexico? Oh, no. Okay, that's all the proof I need. Dora is way too smart to be related to someone like you. Uh... Oh no! I can't see Lila and Adrian anymore! Oh, Dora? Right here, no. Do you see Lila and Adrian? What? You see them? Where? Where is they? Oh, second thought. I think I take it back. Chloe, meet Fang. Fang? Mr. Stoll's crocodile. Uh... Don't worry, Fang won't harm you. He only attacks bad people. Uh... Oh, I'm... I'm okay, I think. Mr. Stone, I think your crocodile is broken. He attacked the most nice person I know. You can't be serious. 
Give her the most delicious smell and cheese in the world. So good. Black? Uh? What the hell are you doing on my food? Your food? Seriously? I know you were worried, but this! I'm very disappointed in you, Black. Black! Hey, it's not what I think! Mama! What? No! I'm not your mom! Mama! Emily, I'm so sorry! Mama! 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 It's okay, Natalie. I'm glad that I don't like you so much. But, but, he shouldn't call me mother. You're his mother. It's probably better this way, Natalie. After all, my time is limited. Your time is limited? What are you referring to? You know exactly what I'm referring to. Oh, this is about your job, right? Right. Many years later... Why couldn't you be more specific? No, this is a chicken and this is a pigeon. Do you get it now, Audrey? Isn't that a rooster? Don't you have eyes? It's clearly a... Uh... Oh my god, you're right! It's really a rooster. This is the first time you actually got something right. How? Come on, this one was easy. There are multiple words to choose from. One is rooster and another word is... Cock. <laughs> Cock. I don't see what's so funny. It's just a synonym. I mean, as long as the context is clear to everyone. Later. Audrey, how was your day? Great. The pigeon guy showed me his cock. He showed you his... Wait, what? Edgar, what are you doing, little buddy? You know my head is not a nest. Hey, Wado. Why is there a chicken in your head? Is this supposed to be a fashion statement? How many times do I have to tell you? Edgar is not a chicken. He is a... Actually, you're right. It's a fashion statement. He must be choking. How was a chicken fashion statement? Shouldn't you know best? After all, you're the one who praised Marinette for her hat. Marinette's hat? The one she designed for Gabriella's fashion show. Remember the feathers? Guess whose feathers this was? No way! Marinette got the feather from the little bird? That's right. Looks like pigeons aren't as ridiculous as you thought, huh? Oh my god! Where can I get one? I mean... As a queen of fashion, I already have a chicken hat, of course. Let me just go get it real quick. Who wants to be my new hat? Audrey, no! Leave the pigeon alone!